In the beginning of the movie, we see Paul leaving his house and coming to stay at his uncle's house. In fact, Paul's father died a few days ago, which is why he was very sad. Paul's uncle is very nice, but is a little shocked to hear that he came here without telling his mother. On this side, we see auntie named Anna. Uncle auntie also had a son named Robert. Paul meets Robert, but Robert first says, how long will you be here? Paul says, until I get bored. However, Robert found a partner to pass the time. Robert says, I don't want to play piano, but mother wants me to participate in piano competition. Paul says, yet, what is wrong with that? Robert and Paul had a good time anyway. They also play ping pong together. While having dinner, Paul says, I saw your swimming pool. It's in very bad condition. I can fix it. Uncle says, if you can fix it, then I will pay you for the job. Anna is also happy to hear this. However, uncle is going to town today and won't be back for two days. Uncle said, goodbye to everyone. Meanwhile, Robert was drinking, but no one in his family knew about it. However, the next morning, Robert, Anna and Paul go for a morning walk together. Paul sees a pond here and says, I will bath here. But Anna says, this water is very dirty. Anyway, they return home. Anna had a dog and always looked after her. Paul talks to Anna and realizes that her aunt is very nice. However, the three of them have a lot of fun together. The next day, Paul starts fixing the swimming pool. But suddenly, Anna comes and says, Will you go for a walk with me? Paul says, Yes, of course. They both go out for a walk while they were talking. Suddenly, a bee came and beat Paul on the neck. Paul tries to approach him when Anna comes to him to see it. Anna says, you are crazy. However, Anna walked away, smiling without saying anything to Paul. Seeing this, Paul's courage increased. After that, Paul kept thinking about Anna all the time, even when he came home. He looked at Anna differently. Robert gets a little suspicious when he sees Anna and Paul having fun like that. However, the next day, Paul climbs a tree to cut trees and Paul falls from the tree, injuring his hand badly. Robert was very good at treating Paul. As the day went on, Paul was working at the swimming pool when Anna called him for dinner. Paul got ready and went straight to the kitchen. Paul tries to approach Anna, but suddenly Robert walks in. Nothing happens today. The next day Robert goes to the market. While working Paul suddenly thinks, today there will never be a better opportunity than the empty house. Paul went straight to Anna's room and came to Anna without saying anything. Anna was also ready and they started the story. The car was moving at the good speed. But suddenly Robert came home and saw everything. But he does not tell anyone. Since then Robert was very rude and did not talk to anyone well. Anna did not understand why her son was acting like that. That night, Paul tries to come to Anna again, but Anna refused him. That due to this, Paul's mood becomes bad. He falls asleep by the swimming pool instead of going home. The next day, Anna tries to talk to her son, but Robert was very reserved. He never spoke to his mother. Anna starts playing the piano in sadness while Paul is watching all this from outside. Suddenly his uncle comes back. Paul feels a little bad, but Anna is very happy. Paul is very jealous 
to see uncle and auntie together anyway uncle returns home and tries to talk his son but robert would not tell his father at night when paul is sleeping robert comes and hits paul very hard and says that's my mother paul realizes robert has found out everything paul says i love her he hearing this robert leaves the next morning when paul goes to the kitchen and i still there and i tries to go to paul but uncle comes in and their story ends on this side robert could not keep himself thinking about those things he beats his mother so badly that paul realizes that staying here is not going to get any better he goes to robert in the middle of the night and says sorry comes out of the house and kill anna's dog and throws it in the water robert saw all this but he did not say anything the next day paul came home from his uncle's house with his things while anna cried a lot when she saw her dog's dead body while paul stood outside watching all this he looked his bag and went home comes back and this movie ends here